Coach, let's talk about captains. How important are they for a team and why? Well, I'm very, very old school, you know, that like, like you. I think captains are essential. I think to be elected captain is one of the greatest achievements, especially if it's picked by your peers. Being a captain and why it's important is two things, accountability and then being a spokesperson. Who do you speak with? What's the communication line between the coaching staff and the players? You can't have, you have 100 guys on the team. You know what I've done, Jerry, over the years? And I learned this at Ohio State when I was a graduate assistant back in 1986 is we have a captain's dinner every year. We invite the captains back so the other players, younger players can see, and, right. and we treat them good now. Made sure they're geared up and took care of them. And then also in the wall, I started this at Ohio State as well. I made a wall, and that wall has been promised to me that wall will never be taken down. Even they change facilities, they're gonna build another captain wall. And that goes all the way back, as far back as they elected captains. And we went back and invited a lot of those guys back to see their names on the wall, so forever, you're, part, you're, you're a captain of Ohio State football. How do you elect the captains? Who votes? How does that work? We've actually discussed this, and, and I think uh, you know ownership is a critical element of a great team, and ownership from the players, obviously. So we always did a player vote, and one of the things we was always always concerned about is if they voted for a guy that you really didn't want to be right. a captain. And so I kind of solved that problem as time went on. I would put qualities that you had to be to become a captain. For example, it wasn't actually a senior. You could be anywhere on the roster. And I changed that as I got a little older and more experienced. So you had to be a starter or a contributor. You had to have ne zero academic issues at all. You know, I don't want a captain up there that academics are not important. I don't think that's the right message to your team. No legal issues to be a captain. And that solved all problems. And I would handle that every year in a team meeting to start the season because we made it such a big deal at captains. A lot of these kids want to be captains. Most of them did. And I wanted to make sure that they lived accordingly so they, when it became time, they could be elected captain. JT Barrett was elected captain his sophomore year. He's the best leader on the team, it's obvious. I got away from limiting to three captains, two captains, and I got away from limiting it to a senior. A lot of times at Ohio State, there are no seniors, they leave. I use JT Barrett because he's one of the best leaders I've been around, and everyone knows it. If they want to elect them captain, let the players elect them captain. I watch games all the time and I see C's and A's. Uh, I use the captain, I, I put C's on the jersey for captains and A for the alternate captains, which I announced the morning of the game, kind of as a motivation thing. Did you do anything to the jerseys? I didn't, you know, I think that's great. This is part of the wishes I had. I was in an interesting place, your old place, Boulder, Colorado, and Coach Prime against Nebraska, he's at CU. And we did an actual story on it. That uh, He gives out the L and the D. L is his leaders. Right. And we asked him, and I asked him first, because I think that's an incredible idea. And he says, if he's a leader and he elevates those around him, I'm giving him a leader. And puts it on, it puts an L. Right on the scene. And then he puts a D. You know what D is? Dog. <laughs> D-A-W-G, too, not D-O-G. Right, dog. Right, 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 right. And I said, what's a dog? And he said, the dog just goes. You can't stop him. He's like a wild dog, you know, and you, you know. You know, I used to always say, how do you negotiate with a wild dog? You really don't. <laughs> he said, he says, players line up at his office saying, I want that D on my jersey. How do I get that? I think that's brilliant. To motivate 17 to 22 year olds, right. I think it's brilliant. Coach, tell me one story where a captain really made an impact on the team. You know, I'm gonna tell you a story about the Patriots. I went to visit Bill Belichick and he invited me out there. I went about three or four times. And I walked in and, and I was dealing with some issues uh, when I, where I was coaching at the time. And I sat down with Teddy Bruschi, Mike Vrabel, Tom Brady, and Willie McGinnis. Those were the captains of the Patriots. And they made a comment to me, he says, it's our responsibility to keep things from Bill Belichick's desk. If we see things that aren't right, we're gonna fix it. So I would use that every time I met with my captains every year. When I met with the captains, this year it's your responsibility. You know the team better than we do. You know what's going on. Here's our expectations. If this, our core values of our team, if something's going on, JT, Nick, whoever, Josh, Joshua Perry, incredible captain, you fix it. How do you fix it? You go meet with that player, you go meet with that group of players, whatever it is. And I could, you know, there are many stories, uh, you know, when someone or some group is not performing or not doing the right thing, they would get it fixed.